Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This is Brian from End Star Entertainment. So I haven't made a video in a couple weeks, but who cares? So anyway, basically, the last time I made a video where I installed this graphics card into this computer, one thing that you may have noticed is I had this one, and I didn't put it in there, even though actually this one was the, is a much better card. This cost about $30, so it's not great, but this one cost $17, and I bought this one in case this one was broken. So basically, though, this one has one massive advantage over this one. You notice if you look at this one, see how small you see this? Compared to that, well, the cards themselves are about the same size. See how much bigger that piece of metal on the end of this one is than this one? I happen to accidentally buy one of these small cards. There's actually two ways to make one of these fit. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Getting this card to fit inside this computer. And this is something, advice, I could you could use yourself in order to make a small item fit, a larger one. So the first thing you could do is buy a PCI X16 extender. Also, do that I thought of. You could remove the bracket. So on some cards, this isn't fully possible, but on this one here, it's actually pretty easy. So let's get on with that. All right, everyone. So right here, we got our card it's just sitting on a piece of foam. Cause why not? The only tools you're gonna need is a screwdriver, a Phillips one, and pliers. And I'll explain why you need those. So if you look at this to remove this bracket. There's one screw, actually. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. So that's connected to the D the display port. So what I first decided to do was remove that, because that'll probably make it easier. But I'm not sure if that would get it off, because it seems very sturdy. And there's no way that little tiny screw is going to hold the whole thing in. So you just get that out pretty easily, just like that. Well, it's still in there pretty secure. It's a little shakier, but still in there. So. There's, right here is our DVI port. You may notice it's got these things. And I wondered, maybe you could use a pair of pliers and then just connect on them and turn them a little and pull them off, just like that. And yeah, they actually unscrew, which I was kind of surprised about. Just like that. And... Just like that. And just like that, that comes right off. And now, we have a smaller card. So unfortunately, this wouldn't mount excellently, but it's a lot better than having to have it sitting completely outside of your computer with an extender. All right, so now let's get on to putting it in. All right, so now to install your now modified card, basically all you have to do is just like any other graphics card, it's just gonna mount into your PCI X16, just like that. So there's one issue with this. It's a little wobbly. So what I would do, luckily for me, this is a pretty light graphics card, and most low-profile cards are pretty light, so that's a good thing. But if you want this thing to mount, basically I would put the, the computer on its side and not have it standing up, because if you do that, you're gonna be it's gonna be like bending backwards on the connector on the connector, and that's not good. When it's just like this, that's a lot better. So then just like that, you can hook it up and plug it in, and it should work. Okay, so there's one thing that I forgot to say that should. You should, before you buy a graphics card, if you have a computer that's uses a full-size one, make sure to buy a graphics card that's a full-size. Spending an extra $10 or so on it is worth it. This is only for people who messed up and accidentally bought one that has one of these smaller things and now you're stuck with it and you don't want to buy another one. So, yeah. If you, ha if you haven't bought it yet, do not buy one with a small thing unless you have a small computer that's designed for it, and vice versa. Just buy what your computer is designed for. If you're stuck with it, then you watch this video. 